Dame tu mañana junto a ti, dame de beber el néctar de tu corazón, de tu corazón. Dame celo azul al despertar. Hello everyone, welcome to Culture Cooking a place where you will learn how to make Peru's most popular dishes. My name is Choyi Tosu, and today I am bringing you Lomo Saltado, or stir-fried tenderloin, Peruvian Asian style. So, vamos. So Lomo Saltado, it is literally Peruvian ingredients with Chinese cooking techniques, and in this case, we're gonna use a wok. And I don't know if you guys know, but Lima has one of the biggest Chinese communities in the entire world, and they have their own cooking style, and it's called Chifa. And you can find a Chifa restaurant anywhere in Peru. But today, I am gonna bring you this Chinese Nikkei Creole food that I'm gonna make my own style. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to cut the meats and how to season the meats, okay? So we just want to have like, uh, as well as the last ceviche recipe, we just want to have like bites. Not too thick, not too thin. Enough for one bite. For grab. And in this case, this is tenderloin, okay? It's the tip of the tenderloin. So, you have the meats. Now we're gonna go for the ginger, okay? We're gonna cut approximately like 30 grams of ginger. I would say the same amount of garlic. So, I'm gonna put the ginger with the meats, okay? And then, I am going to grab my knife and we are going to cut some garlic. So this is the technique that I've always been using for more than 10 years and trust me that I found that this technique when you just marinate the ginger and the, and the garlic with the meat first, it normally the meat gets super aromatic. The step that I'm going to show you right now, it is the most Peruvian step of the mold, okay? Just gonna grab some pisco, which is Peruvian spirit, okay? Made from grapes, distillated from grapes in the south part of Lima, northern part of Ica, which is the, which is the southern province from Lima. And we're just gonna put one shot of pisco inside with the meats, okay? And we're gonna let this meat marinate and absorb all this wonderful liquid, okay? And also the perfume and the aromas of the ginger and the garlic. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt, some black pepper. You need to be very generous with the black pepper, by the way. And we're just gonna leave it there until we are going to stir fry it. After we are leaving our meats marinated, we are just gonna start cutting the vegetables, okay? This is the scallions for decoration at the end. Obviously, it gives a lot of good flavor. We are going to cut some cilantro, I love cilantro. Then we're gonna grab a tomato. We're just gonna use the skin of the tomato, okay, everyone? Because we don't want to get too, of the, too much of the seeds inside. And we're just, gonna, we're just gonna cut it like this, in long stalks, patoons, palitos. One, one tomato for two people is normally enough. Then, we have the onions. And then this is the easiest cut of the mold. One half of, of an onion, and just two cuts. And then just open it like this. So you can save time in the wok. This chili is called ají amarillo. It's literally translated to yellow chili. It is one like, we use it for everything here. We use it for stews, for base, for stir fries for making chili sauce. So, for example, if anyone in the world would will see a chili sauce that is yellow, you probably will not relate it that it's very spicy, but we have actually a recipe that we can make out of this chili that is very spicy and it looks yellow. So we're just gonna do the same as we did with the tomato because we just want like long, long stokes or long batoon, I don't know how to say in English, sorry. Sometimes my English is not good enough. I apologize. This is the most spicy part of the whole chili, obviously the seeds. And we're just gonna cut it in long strips. And that's it, guys. This is it. This is all the vegetables that we're gonna use. 
okay, and all the vegetables we need right now, okay? And also the scallions. By the way, this dish is normally served with white rice and french fries, but I am not gonna show you how to make white rice and french fries because I think that everybody knows pretty much how to make, how to make white rice and french fries. And the French fries that we're using today is a type of French, it's a type of potato. Sorry guys, not French fries, actually Belgian fries. Because the originally, the origin of fries is not from France, because actually that was a, an American thing, that was from the US. Anyway, but the originally recipe and where they were invented actually were from, from Belgium, but the potatoes are originally from Peru. So, you guys are welcome. Anyway, so this is a type of potato called Papa Guairo and it is great to make french fries. You can just fry it once. You can definitely wash it first, fry it once, and it'll be as crunchy as any gourmet, any, any other good, very crunchy potato. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you my secret, okay? I'm gonna show you how I do a lomo saltado back home and all the restaurants I, work, I used to work for. This is a secret. I will put four, four tablespoons of soy sauce, approximately, okay? And then I will put half of that amount, as in white vinegar. You can use cider vinegar. You can use white, ri white rice vinegar. You can use any vinegar as long as it's as long it is the citrusy source. Okay, so that's enough for like two. Okay, and then I'll put a generous amount of pepper again, a pinch of salt. Okay, and I will put two teaspoons of sugar. Two teaspoons of sugar, approximately. Okay, and that guys will be the lomo saltado sauce. And last but not least, and this is my this is just entirely myself, okay? Because the stir fry has tomatoes at the end. Personally, I don't like when the tomatoes are too mushy, too mushy, and you cannot actually find the texture. So that's that is one of the reasons that I put some tomato sauce, some tomato sauce inside this mixture. So you can have the tomato flavor, but you can still feel the tomato texture because this will have tomato taste but you can still have the tomato texture on your plate when you serve it all right guys as i was telling you actually lomo saltado it is served with white rice and french fries i got my french fries on the on the wok because i just wanted to warm it up but the rice if you're back home please try to make this technique use a small bowl a small bowl okay and you will put it on one side of the plate and that's it. And then, this french fries right on the side. Belgian fries, sorry. Or papas fritas. You can just use your, your kitchen, your kitchen burners, but it just needs to be super, super hot. Like the pan needs to be smoking hot, guys. People, people tell me, hey, why don't you just put the oil ready? And I always tell them, wait until the pan is hot, and then you'll put some oil. Okay, so let's go. Whoa. Right guys, so people will say that don't put the garlic and ginger before, okay, or with the meat or fire because it will burn too much. But as long as you just like taking care of the temperature and taking care of your meat and move it around, it won't burn. It won't burn as fast, okay? But uh, we just need to wait until these meats are sealed. Now our pan is back into a fire. It's getting hot again. And that's where we are going to put all these ingredients, all these, the rest of the vegetables. And then halfway through, that's where we're going to put the meat. I'll show you guys. First red onions, then the chilies. So, when the onions start getting caramelized with the chilies, that's where we are going to put back our meat, okay? Okay, and this is, the, this is the fast part, okay? This is the part that you need to be fast. Then we put the scallions, and some cilantro. This is gonna stir fry a little, and that's where we put our Soy sauce with ginger, with gin, sorry, our soy sauce with vinegar and tomato, tomato puree, tomato paste. 
Could be tomato paste, could be tomato sauce, could be whatever you guys have in hand. And we just need to wait until the juice of the lomo saltado is reduced because we don't want to feel that vinegary taste, that vinegary aftertaste, okay? And as soon as this juice start getting reduced, that's where we're gonna put the tomatoes in, okay? And we're just one step closer to finishing this. So, this is a part that we're just gonna put the tomatoes in. We're just gonna slightly cook them. Just gonna slide them cook, slightly cook them. And we are done. Lomo saltado. Okay, so this is the time that we're gonna start serving. Meats on it. I like a lot of vegetables in my plates. And that's it. Right guys, so this is our lomo saltado. Please bon appetit. This is actually one of my favorite dishes to eat. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up. And guys, please cook. Cook with your family, cook for your friends and enjoy life. And I'll see you guys in the next cooking video with Culture Cooking. Here is Choi saying goodbye and thank you for watching.